Okay, what we have here is a 1924 national tenor banjo that was invented by John Dopiera and is the immediate ancestor of all resonator instruments. So you can see it is of it's all metal construction. And what you can't see is that it has a spun a very heavy spun aluminum disc inside of it that acts as a secondary resonator. Unlike a resonator guitar, it isn't directly connected to the bridge and strings, but it rings sympathetically, so it wasn't a big evolutionary advance to simply connect it to the bridge. What's interesting is that in the patent, Dopiera states that the resonator inside is to make the instrument louder, and that this technology can also be adapted to guitars and mandolins. And all of this was in 1923-24, long before George Beecham arrived and wanted John to build him a louder Hawaiian guitar. So he had the idea of using aluminum cones to amplify things before he ever invented the national tricone. The national tricone is like the logical outcome of it, but this proves he was working on the idea before. Can you play something for us? Sure can do this backwards because I'm left-handed, but okay. And one of the things is you compare this to a normal tenor banjo, it has a noticeably different sound, a lot more, per not really percussive, but it definitely has more sustain and it has a definite resophonic metallic ring to it. Notice the sustain. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it doesn't sound like a normal banjo. <laughs>